Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain about how to design hydraulic system for a given application. Let us see one numerical. Draw a simple hydraulic circuit which will operate a hydraulic cylinder of a machine. The load during the forward stroke is 20 kN and that during the return stroke is approximately 10 kN. The forward and return speeds are about 3 meter per minute and 5 meter per minute respectively. The stroke of the cylinder is 300 mm. Provision is required to hold the cylinder anywhere in between the end positions. Select different components from the data given. Specify rating of the components in case it is not available. Let us start for the solution. First of all, note the given data force acting at the time of extension is 20 kN and force acting at the time of retraction is 10 kN. To complete extension stroke, the velocity required is 3 meter per minute and for the retraction, the velocity is 5 meter per minute. Convert these velocities into the meter per second. This is the design data catalog for selection of components. Means from these 10 tables, we have to select the components for the given circuit which we are going to design. This is the suction strainer, pressure gauge, wind pump, pressure relief valve, flow control valve, direction control valve. The components are given here and the Specification for the selection of component is based on the pressure and flow rate. This is the given data. If we select the first actuator from given data randomly, for example, say if we select the actuator A2 having piston diameter is equal to 40 mm and rod diameter is equal to 16 mm, for that, if we calculate the pressure built into the circuit, we get pressure is equal to pressure is equal to force of extension upon area of piston if you calculate this we get the 159.15 bar pressure if you look at the design data in design data the capacity of pump is not available which is able to build the pressure is equal to 159.15 bar so instead of selecting the actuator we are trying to follow the different procedure in that First of all, we take the pump which is having the maximum capacity. That is, first select the pump from given design data having maximum pressure. Design calculation for the forward stroke. First of all, we are trying to do that. In that, maximum pressure, if you consider 70 bar, by substituting above pressure, we are trying to find out the diameter of piston. By calculating this, we get the diameter of piston is equal to 60.31. Friends, let us uh, see here. There are two forces are acting and try to find out the piston diameter which is having maximum force. In that case, the maximum force is 20 kN which is acting at the time of extension for the further simplification. Now from design data select the actuator having equal to or more than diameter 60.31 select a4 model which is having diameter of piston is equal to 75 mm and diameter of rod is equal to 45 mm now by considering the above actuator calculate pressure built into circuit for forward and reverse stroke now we know the pressure is equal to force upon area now I am trying to find out the pressure at the time of extension which is equal to 45.27 bar and same for the uh, calculate for the retraction at the time of retraction pressure built is equal to 35.37 bar. Now try to find out the flow rate for the extension and flow rate for the retraction. By calculations we get the maximum pressure and maximum flow rate required for the system is 
maximum pressure is equal to 45.27 bar which is built at the time of extension and maximum flow rate is 14.08 liter per minute which is at the time of retraction now by considering these two maximum parameters we are trying to find out other components now select the required component from design data but designer must have idea about components required to build the hydraulic system so first draw hydraulic circuit consider this circuit for the given application now for this we need the reservoir filter pump pressure relief valve direction control valve flow control valve and actuators now with the help of design data book i am trying to find out or select the components for the given application we have already selected the actuator that is a4 model after that we are proceeding to find out the remaining components now first of all i have selected the pump p3 which is having we have, we have already constrained the maximum pressure 70 bar and based on the flow rate now moving for the next component that is reservoir reservoir capacity is equal to 3 times the maximum flow rate that is here we get the 42 liters now from the design data i am going to select the tank or reservoir t2 next component is the filter for a filter i am going to select the h2 based on the maximum flow rate next component is the pressure relief valve which is based on the pressure and flow rate after that i am going to select the pressure gauge after pressure gauge select the direction control valve which is having selection criteria pressure and flow rate after that select the flow control valve check valves like that you have to select the component for the given circuit now for the given application we have already selected the component let us try to see whether the selected with the help of selected components given application is satisfying or not let us see simulation at the bottom reservoir is connected after that filter pump pressure relief valve flow control valve direction control valve flow control valve and this is the actuator with given specification and loads this is the extension pressure pressure gauge retraction pressure pressure gauge flow meter used to measure the flow rate from the pump right now center position is actuated so that there is no extension and retraction of actuator after extension or after actuating the first position cylinder starts to extend at that time look at the pressure build when first position actuates if you look at here flow rate at the time of extension is equal to the our calculations the pressure at the time of extension and retraction is same which we have calculated thoroughly look at the pressure built at the time of retraction flow rate and pressure built at the time of extension and flow rate and velocity of extension and retraction is also satisfied velocity of extension is 0.05 require and retraction velocity is 0.08 meter per second is required both velocities and pressures built into circuits are as per our calculation so whatever we have calculated with the help of design data all components and circuit is correct you try to design different circuits by using same steps and simulation method thanks for watching this video